Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple ladder, how to make the ladder climbable, and how to when a player gets out of the map, instead of falling for eternity like they would, they'll fall down and they'll die. Which both of these are very simple steps, but even if you put walls up around your map, you still need to put the this second step I'm going to show you after I may, after we do the ladder, you still need to have that because people can find ways out of the map always and they need to jump and die instead of falling for eternity. So firstly I'm going to show you how to make a ladder and how to make a ladder you're going to need to, I'm going to do it on the wall right here Okay, and I'm going to place the ladder in right here on this part of the wall. Okay, in order to do that, you need to know where it is on the graph. Right here is the graph. I'm going to place the start of the ladder right here. There's our start. We're working with chalk, which you always start with. Except I'm going to make this two blocks big. And as you can see, this is already on the ground and the perfect height to get over. We can raise it a little bit higher. Okay, press, we'll just bring that out some. Press space to copy that. Bring it over to where you think it looks good for someone to climb up. I'm going to bring it in a, a notch. Okay, press escape to, de to unselect that. Then, on the front of your ladder here, taking build one right and take and build your first step drag it up okay go into the view here so you can see where you're doing this press space bring it on down to where it looks even for you press space bring it on down to where it looks even for you press space you know and do it all the way down real quick And as you can see, there's our fir there's your first ladder. Um, you need to take and give it some texture, which it really doesn't matter what texture you give it. So we're just gonna go find some wood, some solid wood. Here's some right here. And there's your first ladder. Which, like I said, this is just a quick ladder. I'm not doing it all for looks, just to show you. But before that ladder is even climbable. It'll just be another object in the game and it'll have no purpose if you don't do this next step. You need to take scroll in. I'm going to make this as small as I can. And in front of the, the ladder, you need to take and build this. Make it a little bit higher than the ladder at the top. A little bit higher than the ladder at the bottom. Then, or a little lower. Then go to textures. Go to use it. Oh go to textures, go to usage, and go to tools. And as you can see, we got all of our COD2 radiant tools in here. We need this ladder. See how it says ladder now on the map? That shows the game engine that you need to climb that, that it's going to make your guy climb that ladder, instead of the ladder actually being a useless piece, a, a useless ladder. Okay, and you can press escape. Now that's it. That's all you need for the ladder. The ladder is now climbable. The next step that I said I was going to teach you in this tutorial is how to make players die if they get out of your map instead of falling for eternity. Now around your map you need to take and build a box that's bigger than your map. Doesn't matter if it's perfect, just a box. Take and you're going to want to use chalk for this. You're not, you're not going to want to change this texture at all. Go to the side view pull it down. Pull it down to where you know if they jump out it's going to be a long enough drop to kill them. Then close it up. You need it. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's going to be a, an invisible solid surface. That's what chalk is. It's invisible when you run the game. That's it. They fall off there, they're going to die. They fall off there, they're going to die. Fall off there, they're going to die. Either way, they're going to die. Um, for this tutorial, press escape. I'm going to go ahead and take this ladder here. I'm going to put one on the other side so we can get in and out of this wall. You know, 
you got to work with radiant tools to get used to them. Press space to make a complete copy. Press this twice to turn the ladder around. Put this wherever you want on the opposite wall. On the other side of the wall. Press escape. We now have two ladders. And you know that's no big deal. But now I'm going to compile. I'm going to test the map. I'm going to show some screenshots of me falling off there dying. I'm going to show some screenshots of me using the ladder that we just made. And in one second I'll show you those screenshots. Okay, I went ahead and I took six screenshots. This shows you the ladder we put in right here. This is on the outside of that wall. Go to the next screenshot here. This shows me climbing that ladder that on the outside of that wall. Go to the next screenshot. This shows the ladder on the inside of the wall. And that shows that I'm over the wall also. Go to the next. This shows the ladder that I'm climbing on the inside of the wall this shows me falling it's completely black because I just fit because once you get out of the, the light box that you make it's it's black it's void it's nothing this shows me under the map now this is what I want to explain to you since I'm under the map and you can see that I'm under the map and I didn't successfully die that means that the chalk was not low enough to kill me that means that it was too short of a fall to kill me when I fell down so you're gonna want to lower your chalk till it kills the player from any jump off your map and pick the lowest point on your map to test it now back to this first map here I wanted to show you or back to this first this second shot here you see how the search and destroy points like on the previous video aren't there that's because when you play a different game type other than a deathmatch or a search and destroy they're not going to be there. Those those objectives we put in there are only going to be for search and destroy. For a deathmatch, team deathmatch, anything else, capture the flag, whatever else, that's all it's going to be for. It's it's this is going to look like this. It's not going to look like a search and destroy. That's all for the ladders and the kill trigger for when you fall down. Um that's all on this tutorial but I'm gonna make another tutorial next how to add capture the flag into your map and how to um, uh, well the next video will probably just be how to add capture the flag because it will take a minute so thank you